We're live with that one. Hello, everybody. Thank you for here, being here with me and you being here with you. And oh, oh, shit, my hands. We're good? Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hi, guys. Kyrie's got a new mic. I got a new mic, everyone. We good in this house. How you doing, y'all? What's good? Welcome back to Disco Elysium. We're here. Yeah. We are here. We back. We back. Uh, we took a week off because the uh, family came over, and I was like, ah, ah I gotta entertain. So we, uh, I did that. But we're back now. We don't miss a beat. We Ex say that, but we definitely miss a few beats here and there. We have 100% missed a few beats here and there. Speaking of missing a few beats, Kyrie, I promised a story. You when... did. You promised me an epic story. So, as some of you may or may not know... I uh, uh, play in a Pathfinder campaign, sort of like D and D, but not the the it's other just company. A version of D and D that was offshooted. <laughs> for for layman's terms, Based it's it's D and it's D and D if uh, Pepsi and Coke were board were tabletop games, pretty much like that. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so as people know, you roll dice in these games. Yeah. Um, I have my so, dice bag right here. Listen to this. Ooh. 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 Yeah, the, you like that, 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 noise? that dice ASMR. Ooh, that was nice. Um, <laughs> but yes, I, uh, I, I have been known to uh, roll dice on occasion. Mm -hmm. Now, today, when we were playing Pathfinder, a very interesting thing happened, let's just say. Okay. So, how. what happened was, uh, we had to set up a teleport point, and I had the highest occult stat in the entire group. So they were like, Shad, you go do it. You get the, uh, oh, who joined? It is pending! Pending. Hi, pending. Your, your, your foogie is broken. Oh. That's not good. Yeah, it's, that... Well, until that gets sorted out, pending, I am telling a story about the events of today. Oh? I I was playing Pathfinder. Uh-huh. Yes. 
And um, I had I had a job to do, and and this job was to fix a teleporting circle. I had the highest stats to do it, so I uh, they I went and did it. First roll, one. Okay, Jesus so Christ! Can I ever tell a story without getting interrupted by people joining or getting raided? Ah. No. <laughs> Apparently. No. I gotta, I gotta jump on the- Hello, Carmibiel 1993. I can read. Welcome. I am telling a story of my Pathfinder experience today. So, I, I fail the first roll. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing bad's going to happen. Um, I fail the first roll so spectacularly that, um, an enemy comes out of the portal and we initiate battle. We okay. then do the classic thing of rolling initiative. Mm -hmm. I also roll a one on initiative. Nice. So you're the last to act. I am the last to act, but it doesn't matter. It's a single enemy. We we kill it. Everything is good. Sorry I interrupted. You are fine. Um, So that's fine. I then go and try it again. Fail again? I critically fail again. Whatever dice that was, you need to burn it. Two enemies come out. Okay. We then roll initiative again. I roll a one again. Four dice rolls in a row. I roll a one. We googled this. This is a 1 in 160,000 chance to happen. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that dice needs to burn. I, I, I don't... I don't get it. Shit was... fucked. I, it... Yeah. You're right, that was a, a pretty epic story. It, uh, it was, yeah. When are we holding the funeral? For what, the virtual dice? No, for Yeah, you. we need to find Oh, you, oh, for like, me. Anything. For me, um, uh, the 20, <laughs> uh, the 29th <laughs> of February. <laughs> yeah. They shot? Yeah. My boogie's broken. I can see it's broken, Pending. We're not there. We're not, you're I not. Know. We miss you, Pending. Hello. I miss me too. Yeah. Um, pending on your side, if you go into Fugi. Okay. And just like log back in and hit refresh on your stuff, that may help on Shad's end. Let me give that a try. Log in with Discord. Authorize. Um, okay, so then I log out and log back in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or just, like, refresh your image or update it or something. That may help. Uh, sure. I'll give that a try. Yeah. Yeah, do, doing any of those will, uh, will, will help out t tremendously. And then, Shad, what you'll want to do is go and update yeah. the... Yeah. Your Fugi link. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well one, one second, one second. I'm just gonna... I, I see what you're doing. Yeah, this yeah, is quite no, amusing. No, don't, don't, don't. It's like this, I think. No, wait, no, 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 no. This is this is wrong. This is wrong. This is very cute. This very is this cute. is wrong. I I, I remember what pending looks like. Um, I don't remember what I look like. I I don't remember what I look like on a on a good Never. day either. Uh, oh, but it was cute. It, it was, but it, it wasn't accurate. I need I need to do it again. Oh oh no wait. I I looked over at my screen, saw what I was doing, and I was like, oh, it fixed itself, and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> I have... I have actually... Very special. I have done screwed this up royally. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put like a little bit... Yep, of... yep. Perfect. There we go. There we... Oh, shit! <laughs> well, there we go, Pending. You fixed it just as I finished the drawing. I did? Yep. Look, oh. pending. If you have a second, no, no, no. Shall we do I, it? I, I, okay. 
edit. Uh, Should I redo it? It's control Y. Okay, control Y. Oh, pending, you should go and look there. at Shad's screen. There we go. I will move you to out of the way of what I drew. Aww. There you go. I'm cute. Yes, I was you doodling on my own stream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. I uh, I forgot I, I do have this set up. I can just doodle whatever the heck I want on my own stream. Can you doodle me, Shad? Um, yes, I can. That's a really weird question, but I can. Uh, hold on, let me, let me. This is a drawing screen. Oh, wait, hold on. I mean, it, it can be. I, I am always prepared to draw. Yeah. There you go. Me. You're welcome. But yes, uh, thank you all so much for coming by. Welcome back to uh, Disco Elysium. <laughs> Yeah, there's supposed to be a game. Here. We, 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 there was supposed to be a game, but uh, I got and distracted. Then Chad was traumatized. I by was. Pathfinder. Oh, God. I. It, it, it was a tra tragic event. I understand. It was. It's left you scarred. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's an event. But yeah, this is actually a very cute new, um, Fugi you got pending. It's my, it's my, uh, Discord avatar. I actually, oh. so what I did was I switched to the Discord avatar, then I switched back to the other one, hoping that would, uh, trigger it. Yeah. But it just seems to have left me with my Discord avatar. That is, you know what, here, let me, let me go log in to, uh, Fugi and reset the link. I've seen a lot of people with that little cute avatar, and yeah. I love it. It's, uh, isn't it, uh, Argama? It wouldn't surprise me if it's Argama. Argama's chibis are always cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she drew she drew chibi pending. Yeah, I know Charlie has one, and then June and Zan have one. Hmm. They're super cute. Yeah. I mean, that's and uh, Shad is traumatized because he looked up at the sky. And he saw his own reflection. <laughs> I looked up at the sky and saw the the depths of humanity. Depravity. Right. I saw the depths of depravity in there. Realized humans are the problem. Yes. There we yeah. go. There it fix it fixed Shad, it now. Shad became the ultimate despair. Yep. yep. I, I became the. It's Yeah. Do I need to start wearing high heels and uh, have massive fucking twin tails? No, mine was a reference to Zetsubo Sensei. Oh, I think I think Pending anime. was referencing Danganronpa. I yeah, I've been watching a Let's Play a, a, of Danganronpa uh, three recently, which is why mm. it's been on the mind. He. It is okay. I tried D and D for the first time, so. Mm, it's nice. Hmm. It's been it's been interesting. Yeah, hope you have fun. Did you roll any ones? Uh, yeah, I did. I rolled a one during a cupcake eating contest. What? <laughs> what happened? Uh. Oh yeah. Basically, I was choking on a cupcake, and I had to use another cupcake to dislodge that cupcake. That's and then the way I, I fucking know out. that reference. I, and then I eventually passed out due to custard damage. Custard damage! Yeah, I, I heard about this cupcake eating contest. It sounds so Suirin got it perfect. Suirin got the max amount of cupcakes swallowed <laughs> in the one minute. So, it, so, the goddess of water knows how to crumple a cupcake into its purest form to eat it yeah. solid. Yeah. There was also a little pixie that ate like 15 cupcakes that were her size. What? There, there's a portal in her stomach. She, she's cheating. There, there's no way. The, there has to be some kind of weird fey magic going on because it doesn't there make is, sense. Yeah, no. There, there's food, food shrinks when it is in the presence of a pixie to fit the mm. pixie size. 
There's some kind of weird voodoo. There going is on. some wild stuff going on in there. But it was amusing. Mm hmm. Kai didn't participate. Damn. His guy was being grumpy in the corner. That's damn. His... <laughs> he plays that character a lot. <laughs> I he plays that. Wait a minute. Possible. I literally tried every single way possible to get this man to participate. Okay, I tried to be nice. I tried to be aggressive. I literally threatened him with my I, bow and arrow. I threatened I him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I literally threatened him. I shot a bow and arrow at him. I just remember when we played Call of Cthulhu. He was a. He was the same type of character. Uh, hey, pending. I'm gonna go yeah. and lodge a formal complaint. Hey, pending. What? But what character did I play in the campaign we had together? You played a delightful man that liked cooking. <laughs> that is one way to to put the mostly naked chef who punches people. Yes. Were you a mostly naked chef that liked to punch people? I was a mostly naked chef who liked to punch people. You, um... I mean, you, you tried to punch people. That is also... Did you fail? Uh, a fair amount, yeah. <laughs> Kyrie, it's me. You know my dice rolls. I do know your dice rolls. You just told me an epic story about them. At you... this point... I think I can prove without a shadow of a doubt I have worse dice rolls than Yui. In critical moments, yes, you do. In general, I don't think you do. Fair. Fair. Mm. Oh, so, that, that's, that's what I will stipulate it with. In critical moments, yes, you do tend to roll ones when you are needed the most. Yeah. All right, uh, so Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium, baby. Hey, speaking of failing dice rolls when we need them the most, welcome back to, uh... uh yep, this time. Uh, we we have to deal with a church. Oh, right, I remember our, our what we did last time. We, uh... We, we talked to these people who wanted to get into the church and set up some kind of dance club thing. Yes, but do you remember the conversation we had with this lovely young lady right here? Yeah, where you were having a full-blown meltdown because she wasn't wearing a fucking she... hat in the cold. Fuck the hat! Yes. Yeah, we had a uh, we had a full-blown mental breakdown at this child. Hi, Kim! Oh, yeah, I remember the mental breakdown. It was literally at the child. Literally yeah, at the you child. You were literally having a breakdown at the child. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we did. Speak, okay. though, hey, Lupin isn't here right now, pending. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, let's Le get this going. <clears throat> Come. Come. I wasn't sure how that is <laughs> that is not what that said, but keep it. Ahem. Having looked away during the final phase of your little episode, the lieutenant now addresses you. That's how he addresses you. Yeah, yeah, that exactly. Five feet away from the girl who you just attacked. We're addressing this right now. Yeah. Do you all uh, want to talk about what happened? That's probably a good idea, or uh, what's there to talk about? I I want to talk about it. I you, would you love. You kind of need to talk. I would yeah. love to talk about this. Normally, I'm uh, opposed to discussing one's feelings, especially on Duta. But I think it, this is an exceptional case. What? No. We don't need to talk about feelings so yeah, what do. do what do you think happen <laughs> <laughs> here we go i got this convince yourself that you didn't melt down just now you have a surprisingly high chance of doing so yeah tis possible thou couldst persuade the lieutenant Twas all part of thy unorthodox method but can thou persuade thyself 
A Craigasm. I experienced a minor malfunction. I'm okay now. Convince yourself that you didn't j melt down just now. I mean, you did have a meltdown. Mm-hmm. You yeah. personally explained you have a meltdown. We, we absolutely did. Yeah. So maybe it's okay to admit you have a meltdown. But yeah. if you want to try the check, you can try the check. We've been honest with Kim so far. I'd yeah, like to keep being honest with Kim. I, I think so, too. So, what did we do? A crygasm or a minor malfunction? You did, at the end of it, like... Break down of, in like, tears. Calm down. Well, you, yeah. like, you, you broke down in tears, but you also, like, calmed down. Like, the girl's like, you know, like, put on the motherly mode and, like, mm -hmm. you know, like, if you mm -hmm. need it, I'm here to talk. And you're like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so you like calm down. So maybe a minor malfunction would have been appropriate. It was a minor malfunction. Glad to hear it was minor. Can you go on? Yes, it's my duty. Absolute, absolutely. Superstars always get up and try again. That sounds like. Yes. The en the end is near anyway. I might as well see it through. I can, and I'm sorry, Kim. I promise this is the last time. We cannot promise that. No, that is not a promise no. we will make. That is not a promise we can make, nor would want to make. But you you are a superstar. We are a superstar. We are a superstar. Then let's go. Nice. All right, now time to go and use that key you got to go into the church. Right, instead of breaking oh, wait, down. Was there anything behind the tent? Uh, let's take a we look. We did look originally. There was oh, a board. Oh, we knocked down that bridge. Yeah, that I think was there was also did. some money down here that we got, but this is just a fast way back to the front of the church, I think. Yeah. God, what a. What an intense thing we did. All right, so there's apparently some spooky, scary skeletons or something in here. Right. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let's open padlock with the key. The lock turns easily. You hear a click as the shackle pops open. Let's go. The lieutenant nods at you. Pull open the doors. As you do, you hear... And the echo of the doomed commercial area, its black halls and dusty machines. Then the feeling passes. You are enjoying the new mic. I love the new mic so much. What kind of mic did you get? Uh, it's a road mic. So mm. it's a nice, uh, like podcast style mic. It's high quality. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's so nice. Mm. A great... Well, this is actually a really good uh, test for the new mic, then. <laughs> yeah. A great whoosh of air rushes into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing to fill a great vacuum. In the heart of the city. Oh. That's actually beautiful. That is yeah, incredible. Really this whole game is fucking pretty. Okay, I wouldn't say pretty. It's very artistic. How about that? Yeah. A strange it, stillness it fills you. As you look ahead, you should walk. I didn't read the rest of that. It said, I believe you should walk carefully. Ah. What's this? A grotesque wooden figure is half looks half finished. Feels like it's trying to become one with the church. This is eerie. It looks like you could fall through those floorboards in the middle. More of the forked lightning pattern you saw outside. Bark beetles? No, this looks intentional. Some long forgotten style. Can you guys hear the music? This is this is nice. Oh, no. I have the game muted, let me play. <laughs> oh, okay. That's oh, something. Yeah. I Very keep streams muted because it's always loud. The blackboard is filled with complex curious. equations. They look recent. Mm -hmm. Is that audio equipment? Yeah. Churches would have audio equipment. 
Don't go in the middle. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Bowl filled with water. A live wire what runs. Okay, you nope, know, well, we're backing off of that. That's what I was trying to tell you. Don't go into the middle. Yeah, this uh, this place looks like it's very uh hellish. I I want with. to believe that the music is coming from your boom box. You're like, oh, no, <laughs> we're, we're I I just have just fucking the... appropriate music in the playlist. Yeah. Also, there's a spider web up here. You're you're in charge of the soundtrack. Yes, I love this idea. A cracked pane of glass, colorful. There's a yellow one right here. Frost has drawn flowers on the glass and is obscuring the view. Oh well, no, our boombox has decided we're out of that range now. It's time to listen to our music. <laughs> a figure drawn in the frost window, depicting a deer. Oh, what the fuck is this? Hold up. A scarf, uh, a silk scarf, gives with pain, pain threshold. threshold. Apparently so. A huge red scarf, still dusty from lying in the church. A Bangers song. don't cry. Wow. I love that flavor text. Embroidery Bangers embedded don't with cry. cocky roosters uh, uh, and a uh, mesk floral motif. You'd have to replace your tie. We would. But, uh, that looks cool. It does look. You know what? We'll keep it on for a little bit. Yeah. And the music fades out as we get closer to the church. Uh, the silence in this part of the church. It's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. As we're p blasting our boombox in the center. <laughs> Maybe, if you understand just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I think I hear something. Is that a bird? Yeah, it's a bird. You have a bird floating around you. I think I hear something. And then, it's gone. Almost all of it, but for the faintest of hums. You can hardly hear your own breathing. Yell as loud as you can. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. These are our only two options. I I like to. Stomp I our feet. To answer. <laughs> you produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total somehow. Yell as loud as we can and scare the fuck out of Kim. May as well. Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. Kim, what's happening? The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Can you all hear anything? Almost nothing, and it's beginning to worry me. Not really, but it's extraordinary. I've never experienced this thing before. I can't hear shit! I mean, are you worried, or are you amazed? It's kind or of interesting. do you not care? We're in the middle of this fucking wire ring. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of interesting. I wonder why the church was built with such strange cool stocks. <laughs> His detached tone conceals how uncomfortable he is. You can tell Kyrie is having a lot of fun with this because she's just taking all of the voices. <laughs> I'm loving it because you're Kim. You're doing the other. Yep. I'll... I'll... 
Well, obviously, like, perception is always mine. Yeah. And I've sort of been given Inland Empire every time, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> I mean, I'll take conceptualization, too. <laughs> no, by all, by all means. For now, take them all. Okay. Maybe the church was designed in this way to prevent boisterous activity. Singing and dancing on its premises. Maybe they wanted to discourage, sing discourage singing and dancing. Hey, what if it's something paranatural? It's probably nothing. It's probably just our imagination. Whatever it is, it's definitely real. Something odd is happening around us. Yeah, like for Kim to fill it too, mm -hmm. which is unusual, I definitely think there's something weird. I, I do like one because conceptualization hinted at one. Yeah. I mean, you did succeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is a good hint. Um, there is nothing that alludes to the paranatural. Um, I don't think it would be a, your imagination just because no. for two people to, ha to have the same thing going on, that kind of seems a little out of the ordinary. <laughs> There's definitely something There happening. is something. <laughs> when in doubt, there is something happening around us. Yes. The thing that gets me is that there's all these plates of water with the wires in them. I wonder mm -hmm. if that's causing it. Oh, I don't maybe. know. Maybe it's a puzzle. Maybe. Uh, maybe they wanted to discourage singing and dancing. Hmm. Could be. He doesn't seem entirely convinced, though. Look up into the bell tower. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible and disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Oh! You. E. It's going to be challenging. What if I don't want to know what's up there? I mean, it's challenging. Well, yeah. you're close to a 50 50 shot. In we're this close. One. We're knowing my luck, but hey, we ball. Let's go. It doesn't hurt to try. Oh! oh, look at that beautiful success. Yeah. All right, let's see what's up there. What do we got? I love how the map just like zooms out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like there's something moving up there. A shadow has emerged from the tower and it's making its way toward you through all of the other shadows. Do you guys see anything? I see a giant, like, chandelier or fan or something Like, I see there. that, obviously, but I'm just like, is there anything else? That's... Yeah, I don't see anything don't moving. Really, like, maybe some cobwebs? Oh, I see the dust moving. The dust is moving, yeah. The light or whatever. Oh, follow, yeah, yeah. follow the shadow's yeah. movements? Yeah, let's follow yeah. the shadow's movements. It's not a shadow anymore. Becoming more substantial as it gets closer. The shape of an animal descends. Officer, is there something up there? The lieutenant follows your gaze, attempting to see whatever it is you are seeing. Oh no, you've lost sight of it. Where did it go? On the ceiling? Yes. The darkness makes the ceiling feel infinitely far away. Well, blank. I guess. Blank. Whoa! Oh! There is someone up there. Hi! Tygo! You see oh. some. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Maybe. Dicks. It's not dicks. Maybe it's possible to talk to it. This is a fucking interesting portrait they gave it. Yeah. It's the portrait of him hanging up in the rafters. Hi. <gasps> no, just listen to that. 
listen. Everything is kind of mixed, and now it's just noise. And then if you move away, it goes away. It's also directional, which is super cool. So those kids it's were like right. All... There's something in here. Yeah. They did say there was miscreants in here or something. Yeah. The shadow is a man, but a man made out of the same stuff as the carpentry of the building. He's studying you intently. <laughs> the crab man! <laughs> Reaction speed! What the fuck is a crab man? It's a crab man. Who's there? This is the police. Show yourself. Say nothing. Be quiet. Um, are you the crab man? I want to ask if him if he's the crab man. I feel like that's important to know. No, 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 no. We gotta be professional. Uh, Just... do we go with two? I would go with one. One? Okay. Just, hey, who's there? Hey, who's there? <laughs> the man leans forward a little. Fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze, then speaks. What? Uh, uh, I'll read it. Okay. <laughs> well, by all means, take this one away. They're, they're <laughs> I kind of read ahead. I'm like, I don't know if Penny would like to say some of this. Habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. You've come to the right place. Watson, is that you? <laughs> um. I would give these to Pending yeah, now. Yeah, Pending, Pending, I, you can. Took Tygo. You can take Encyclopedia okay. if you want. That, Have that fun with this. Little, that, that accent is Billabos. A peninsula in Mesqui and a district of Jamra. There's a sizable contingent of Pilibus uh, speaking Mequis in Revachal. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Stop right there. Pussy? What's this? I'm not scared. I just don't understand why female sexual organs have to be associated with weakness. Oh yes, my- Yes, because you're a feminist. We are a yes. feminist! Let's go! Yes. You've really got a case of frayed nerves. Pussy in this usage comes from the pusillanimous. Everybody knows that. You just made that up. Ha! <laughs> Fuck off, Rhetoric! God damn it, Rhetoric! <laughs> um, oops. Um, oops. <laughs> Chill out, man. Here, you can receive the mother's love, and when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of the bottle. You know, I'd like to ask how he knows I'm this a drunk. This dude is like a preacher or something. That's going to be even creepier. What, do we have Spider Preacher over here? Saint spider of the Spider? Preacher, spider Preacher does whatever a Spider Preacher does. Pending. The lieutenant whispers quietly to you. This man, <laughs> this man oh, is obviously a uh, habitual, habitual uh, narcotic user. Do we really need to question him? Kim lost his out. His indoor voice. Yeah, and no, the Kim lost his indoor voice ever since he stepped into the quiet circle. Yeah. I'm put off by the religious stuff, he thinks. And maybe the ceiling climbing, too. It's all very hard to square with the lieutenant's view of, on reality. Yeah, I guess I have a bit of a problem. It's been getting out of hand lately, but... I'm a policeman. I need to talk to you about police things. I don't know anything about alcohol use. Oh no, hell no! Don't nah! you lie. Hmm? Don't you lie. Do number one. <laughs> yeah, let's do one. Yeah, I guess I have a bit of a problem. Be honest. You absolutely have a problem. You acknowledged it. 
is thus crudal, Wei. I see deep inside you. Your body and spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgement, and you don't even know it. Great, more patronizing. So original. Oh yeah, I'm very in touch with my suffering. <laughs> How do you know what I'm feeling? Actually, I'm here on behalf of some uh, young people looking to establish a nightclub. I, I, I like to. I do like to. Oh yeah, I'm very in touch with my suffering. Not all of it. I was like you once. You don't want all the havoc El Vino is wreaking on your mind. Your spirit. Necesitas parar, homie. You know, it's all actually, Spanish. I know how to say it. I'm very <laughs> happy. You know, actually, uh, since we're here, you might want to pay attention to what the uh, ceiling climber is saying. <laughs> Night, Rambo. Also, hello, Big Smoke. Welcome. We have, um, the ceiling Wait. man. To be honest, I'm a little still scared up uh, the the silly man, but if it helps you with your alcoholism at this point, I'm willing to take help with you where I can get out. Funnily enough, that accent slowly got a little bit more French there. Thank you all. <laughs> and it's gone. For some reason, I feel like you have a point there. Wait, who do you think you are? Some crazy guy under a roof? What is this shit? You know, alcohol is uh, centrally my identity. If I wouldn't drink, I just wouldn't be me. This is stupid. I don't even know what this is. That's all well and good, but uh, we need to talk to you about the unlicensed occupation of uh, the ecclesiastic property. I know what this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is an intervention. <laughs> yeah. Kim, did you hire this crazy man? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> it wouldn't have been him. It's more likely your partner. I was going to say, the, Kim's our only friend, friend, though. Friend, your old partner. The one who's sitting in the, the hotel with the blonde yeah. wig on. Your your old friend. That's Kyrie, in quotation marks. Kyrie, you make it sound like all friends would go to where uh, a friend is sitting and just wear like a Groucho Marx glasses and a wig. I know some of my friends would do it in a heartbeat just to fuck with me. I know the specific friend that would do it. <laughs> hmm. What are we I thinking? Think, I think maybe three. Um, I like one. I like one too. Uh, I, I do not one. like two. I don't I do like not two. Like four. I mean, four is correct. But I want to see where this goes. Right. Yeah. I feel like I feel like one will dive us deeper into the insanity this guy is spitting. Yeah. I feel like you have a point there. Thought gained. Wasteland of rea reality. Okay. Ooh, nice. Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. His voice echoes in the cold air of the church. This is the Church of the Mother of Silence. You are welcome here. He sways gently on the beam, waiting for you to take it all in. You have no idea what the fuck he's on about, what the fuck he's talking about. Is he just trying to throw you off your game? Well, it, it kind of makes sense if it's the Mother of Silence, because that's why you weren't hearing properly earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Tis not an act, my liege, saving perchance. He hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. You must be the crab man! Uh, some ravengers want to turn this place into a nightclub. Do you know where the other spooker is? Point at the strange machines around, around you. Hmm. This feels like a, uh... Talking tree. What do we want to do first? I definitely uh, want to know about the machines. Mm hmm. That's fair. I want to know the crab man thing, but it, but like you said, it sounds like we're going to be able to do all these. Yeah. Anyways. I mean, if that's the case, just go down the list then. Just in case, Start let's with... do let, let's do the machines thing first. 
Okay. Other speaker? Oh, uh, esa vieta muy historiosa. He laughs. Don't know, homies. <laughs> Don't know, homies. Vigetta is grandma? Wait, Vietas. so there is another person Vietas. living in this? Vietas. The J is a uh, silent or like an H sound. Mm. Wait, so there is another person living in the church? And is this Vieta? Or, right, I think, I think I'll find her some other way. Well, did you know? What would you say in this sense? Like, in this situation. Wait, so vieta muy estudiosa. Mm. It's probably saying, like, the old lady is, uh, like, studying something. Is very good at studying. Mm. Wait, so there's another person in here? No, I just call her Vieta because of her clothes. She's actually quite young, he scratches his says. Or maybe not that young. It just is one of the many masks we wear. And, uh, you don't know where she is? That's what I said, Holmes. Okay, I can, yeah. How can you not know when you both live here? Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We've got different interests. So, you've got nothing else to tell me? How she looks? What she does? Who, who is she? I'm afraid not, Ese. You just have to wait until she comes back, or... He shrugs. Thanks, crab man. I just imagine reaction speed as a guy shaking his head back and forth as fast as possible. Yeah. It sounds like something out of, like, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Or that guy who jumps on your shoulders and goes, Ooh! Or, or you could do this! Yeah. Or search through her radio computer. You must be the crab man! Never known myself to be a crab. But if that's the name you've got for me, I won't stop you from using it. To be fair, you're more like a spider. If you're not a crab, then what are you? Sorry, you were just... You were not moving like a human. Hey, it's your neighbors who came up with the name, not me. What are we feeling? I definitely feel he's more like a spider. Yeah. Spider yeah. makes more sense. Even Pending said that earlier, like... Yeah. My crab, man. Then there were spider webs up here! It's Spider-Man! It is Spider-Man. He considers this for a moment. I always thought of myself more like a flame. Flickering along the rafters and beams, he paused. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. So, uh, what were you before you became a crab man? I was in a gangway. But my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. Shake your head. So many people lose it, losing their memory. A certain portion, uh, a, a certain po uh, portent. Portent of doom. I think that's what it says. Yes. I lost my memory too, and it haunts me. I lost my memory too, but I like it. It's like I got to create a whole new me and start over from scratch. So, uh, you used to be in a gang, but don't really remember it. Sounds convenient! I like three. I like three, too. Yeah, we can go with that. Yeah, yeah we, we don't seem too beat up about losing our memory. No. In fact, we seem to prefer it. That's not really the point, I say. He frowns. You gotta give yourself over to service. Service of the mother, that is. Do you remember your name, sir? The lieutenant is not particularly interested in the information. 
He's just trying to assert some control over the conversation. Taigo is my name, but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name isn't just your identity, but also, so to speak. Your place among your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. My name is Harry. Extend your hand in greeting. My name is Harrier Dubois, and uh, my place in the world is Lieutenant Double Your Freighter. <laughs> Ever since we found out who we are, this has always been an option. Harry D Harrier Dubois, Lieutenant Double Your Freighter. I don't well, do I don't names either. I think he's going to shake your hand, regardless. He might. So I would absolutely say number two, go with your full title. May as well, yeah. You know what? Loud and proud, Harrier Dubois. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. He sounds melancholy saying this. His limbs a mere shadow below the ceiling. So, uh, what you what you doing here? What you doing? What you up to? This is a special place. There's a preparation in the world up there. A way out into nothingness. His nods towards the ceiling. This church was built around it for purposes of veneration. I circle it, nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'll be pure enough to go drink for it directly. Do you eat... Just putting that out just there. Just wondering. Yeah. Just, just wondering. So, uh, who's this mother of silence you keep talking about? What will happen once you drink from this preparation? I I you, still don't understand what you're doing in the church. You know, church. if you keep talking about the mother, you're going to become like a cultist. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, just wanted you to kind of understand where this may go. Hey, is this your scarf? And yeah, I had other questions. Yeah, show him the scarf. Hey, is this your scarf? I think it was. A long time ago. He looks at the red winter scarf around your neck. I had to shed it like a skin to get closer to the center of silence. You can have it. I don't need it anymore. Thanks. It gives us plus one to, like... Pain resistance. Damage. Yeah, pain resistance. Can I just point out the amount of, like alterations that were just in this one sentence alone we had we were wearing the scarf so it said we were wearing it instead of like pulling it out of our pocket this sh this game is incredible man mm -hmm. uh so uh who's uh who who who's this uh mama you keep uh, bringing up oh that's no simple question is it she is the one who can't be painted or sculpted. Go on. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. Oh. Okay. Uh, so what's going to happen if you drink this stuff that I can totally pronounce? I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally at one with the state of the world before reality began. Kim, I think you might be onto something about this guy being on drugs. That sounds a bit like a substitution behavior, no? You know a thing or two about that. You sure you didn't just switch from one drug to another? I still don't understand what you're doing in a church. How'd you even find the, the, this place, this church? Mm. Kind of want to leave this one for last. Yeah. He may get upset at us. Then again, he this don't... Hmm? I guess five, but it's not that much of a mystery because we found the church. Just we did, yeah. What are you doing here? 
I miss a seraph? Uh, that looks like that word. I doesn't Seraph? Well, seraph's a word. I know, but, but I that doesn't look like Sarah. It's, it, it's yeah. definitely like the seraph, like the angel, is it spelled that way, but it definitely comes off like that's how that would be said. Mm hmm. I'm a seraph, Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. Could you, you should sing for me, the superstar cop. Point your thumbs at yourself. Doesn't really make sense for you to be uh, singing if it's a mo if she's the mother of silence. That's a very good point. Sing is good. I'm a bit of a singer myself. All three of these are really good. These I, are really I, good. I don't. I like one and three especially. I think I'd lean towards three. All of these are so good. These are really good. Oh no. All right. I kind of like two as being a quip. Like, mm -hmm. why would you be singing to the mother of silence? Doesn't sound right. Um, but I kind of like want to see like if he would sing. He probably won't, but like. <laughs> this, if, I, yeah. Oh, no. I don't. So, okay. So Penning's voting for three. Kyrie, I'm going for one. you're voting for one. I'm the swing vote. Fuck. This is probably the hardest one ever. This is mm. maybe chat needs to decide. Maybe we okay. need more opinions. Okay, chat. One or three, chat. First person to uh, first person I see is getting getting the vote. If any of you say two, I'm gonna be real upset. And you get a cookie. I mm. will make you a cookie. Mm. I'm looking at you, Chad. I think. I, I, think I know you're I there. Have many so chocolate who voted, chip cookies. So, so who voted for one it. and three? No, 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 no. This ain't how this works. You don't vote on which person voted for them. You vote with your heart on which one you psych like the best. Do you like one or do you like three? Here, you can read them. I'll move my giant fucking head out of the way so you can read. Your head's not that big. It, I mean, it, there, there's a bit of an ego in there. You, you, you compact it well. It, <laughs> it's in the aho gay. Oh. That's why there's two when most people have one. Ah, it's yes, just packed yes. In the aho gay. Up, oh, John says one. All right, you okay. should sing for me. <clears throat> nice. I ain't from no Mariati. If that's what you're thinking. And the song I sing is silent as the mother. Well, that answered uh, a couple of questions. Yeah. Damn. Mar uh, oh, right. This was pending. Oh, yeah. Uh, Marialte is the McQuiz style of music and dance commonly seen. Sorry, I don't know why I'm speaking like this. D commonly seen at all manner of festivities. Especially weddings. It's delightfully quaint, owing to its pleasant origin peasant origins. It's uh, the pleasant peasant origins. The pleasant peasant. Yeah. How'd you how, like, how'd you find this church, bud? Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here. Back when I still had uh, material worries. Up there, I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Been spending you... a lot of time here ever since. The past what is you... nothing to me now, eh? It didn't belong to me. Yeah, Penny? What does he do for food? That's what I was asking earlier! Like, do, do you eat? Where, where, where do you go? Like, I don't think you can survive off of drinking the mother's nutrients. He's buff, though. You'd have to be for, like, climbing the rack. Yeah! He's, like, this guy has some incredible core strength. Yeah. I am jealous. You, uh, you sure you didn't just switch one drug for another? 
It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Right. Too gleeful, those words. He is lying. Not to you. To his very own self. Faith is a kind of drug. I guess he got a point. Let's just agree to disagree. Or, I was being insensitive. Sorry, let's move on. I don't think you're sorry. I don't think we're sorry either. And faith is a type of drug to some people. Yeah, we could try one. Yeah, fuck it. We ball. I've heard that before, Way. He shakes his head. And I know I can't convince you on the spot. But think. When's the last time you woke up from silent communication with the hangover? Regretting what you did last night? There are drugs darker than alcohol circling your system. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Empathy. Glad you're on my side. I think Any love time. might have been my drug of choice, and I still think I'm hungover from... You're not hungover. Hey. You're going through withdrawal. Harry, where is this coming from? Yeah. This is... He's a sad soul singing about love. Yeah. There's... I'm interested to see where this one goes. This is... We keep getting little flashes of Harry's love life. Something, like, really weird well, happened with Harry. that's the reason he's fucked up right now. Like, yeah, that's pr definitely the reason he's fucked up, but it's like, we keep getting these little flashes of it trying to worm its way out. Try it, then. She took you for a good spin, huh? He looks at you gravely. Don't worry, bro. That love is but a drop compared to the ocean of the mother's love. Right. The mother will eat all of you and never spit you out. How do we want to end this? Let's agree to disagree. Let's... Pending? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. I think, uh, I think three would, would have maybe given us a new thought, but I don't know. I mean, we already got a new thought. Oh, that's true. I know it'll take time. Don't sweat it. Right, I had some other questions. The sinew figure lingers on the wooden beams, blending into the shadows. I guess he is a little... I guess that means he's a little thin, but... Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, you went up here a long time. Do you know why the church was abandoned? Police raided a while back, you responded. His voice seems flat. Did you witness that? Not really. Or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has done its job. That's so, so great about the mother. I let you forget about everything. Hey, some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. <clears throat> the ones in the tent outside, right? I seen them. Guessing they're the ones who called me a crab. Probably scared of me. Wait, do they have reason to be scared? So what do you think, think, about the nightclub that is? I trust you won't get in the way of some enterprising youth. Their business looks promising. Turning the church into a nightclub. I, ca I have to say, it's a great idea. You should support it. I'd want his opinion, so I'd yeah. take two. Yeah, so what do you think? Why am not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there, imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Might even be nice to have some company. What? Wow, he, he's, I, I didn't think he'd be okay with it, but... Wow, okay. As long as they let him stay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. He said that in spite of himself. He's more attached to the human, uh, the, to human than he'd like to think. Okay, thanks. 
All right, cool. Good, good chat, bud. All right, what the hell do we? The waste of reality. It has been brought to your attention that you're an alcoholic, and that it it's a s sickness and it's killing you. You're crawling on your knee knees through life. Your booze-filled belly dragging on the ground. Your brain now fuzzy and uh, now in overdrive. Your hair sticking together. Today's cold sweat and yesterday's vomit. Perhaps they're right. Anything is better than this. Even a bone-dry reality itself. Maybe you can quit. Temporary research bonus. Minus two physical instrument and insomnia. 20 hours! That's fine. Think you can work through those hours. True. There's a lot of side stuff you gotta do. There is a lot of side stuff we gotta do. Holy yeah. shit. This is... That's a big one. Uh, the real question is, what do we want to get rid of for it? It doesn't look like you have to get rid of. There's a plus up there. That's that's nothing. It's just now nah, this is this is our maximum. Clicking on plus does nothing. Uh, there's also why one over do you here. have bow collector if you're not going to collect bows? Um, plus three to shivers. Okay, what's so the one hobo next cop to it. inexplicable, inexplicable volumetric shit compressor? No, up top. Oh, up top. Uh. We can hear the fucking bug boys! Okay. The jam rock jam shuffle. Rock. Bonuses from... Oh, yeah, yeah, we get more shit out of uh, lockers. Or okay. and better shit out of lockers. An actual art degree. Hand-eye coordination. Handshake from the anger, and that's a conceptualization. Oh, conce this is how we passively heal so much. Uh, okay. But and you have so many items. We do. So maybe take that off for a little bit yeah we can i mean you can take other stuff off too like yeah let's go through all of them a little all bit. all right so let's start at the bottom feminist agenda could evolve oh. into rfa whatever that is revolutionary feminist agenda yeah well i kind of want to keep that hobo cop i love hobo cop yeah, yeah I think me it's too. Central to our identity. Volumetric shit compressor. I don't think we need this one. Yeah, that's endurance. Yeah, we 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 needed it once with the corpse, but it hasn't really been useful since. Machiavellian socioeconomics. Uh, left wing dialogue uh, options give plus four. Visual calculus and reaction speed everywhere, and, and minus one authority. Uh, some kind of superstar. Oh, we can't get rid of some kind of superstar. Oh, we love that. Yeah. Uh, all intelligence caps raised by one, plus one XP for every important. orb clicked. That's um, useful. That one. Uh, fascism. Uh, bonuses from the thought, nationalist dialogue, options, damage morale, alcohol gives plus two... FYS. We haven't been imbibing, so maybe we could get rid of that one. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Though that one's all about drinking, and we're not drinking yeah. around him. And if we're, uh, yeah, and if we actually want to get Wasteland of Reality, we could probably just. Yeah, I would take off yeah. Rebellion and Nationhood. Yeah, yeah as funny as it is, we don't use it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I cleared up the slot for it. Wow, we actually forgot it. It's just gone. Oh. That's fine. Yeah. We're yeah, I guess we, we weren't using it anyways. Wasteland of reality. Yeah. We will not be able to sleep, and we are weak. It's okay. We're already weak. We understand that. Yeah. Save yeah. the video game. We, 20 we did, hours. We did not... Oh, there's, uh, a, there's a menu up here. What does this button do? We, we oh, the, that's the help button. It's like, oh, what the fuck okay. is this black thing up here? That's the, that's the menu. Oh, money! There's money! 
Money! A dollar fifty and some shoes! Mess oh, banger look red. At those bangers. Oh hell yeah! There's a massive break in the glass here. Um We're gonna go through it. Someone's siphoning electrical uh, currents from outside into this antenna. A portable uh Harman Wowshi tape recorder. Two decks of uh, real tape spinning on empty. Let's, uh... Okay, is there anything else here that I, uh, that we need? Yeah, a big computer. Yeah. Mainframe. A machine stands in the corner, watched over by figures in the stained glass window. It's turned on, uh, quiver with a quivering... Yeah, it's turned on in quivering with soft electricity. Another radio computer, the lieutenant says, stepping closer. And this time, it's already turned on. He seems cautious around the machine. These mas machines sometimes harbor traps, he thinks. Alarm systems and the like. Let's be careful. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the cache. Yes, but this machine looks like uh, the one in the doomed commercial area. Wait, let's just investigate it. Step behind the computer. You're right, let's get out of here. Uh, I think let's start with one and then go to Yeah. Two. Yeah, I can agree. Mm -hmm. It's quite, it's also quite similar to the one we have down at the station. Must be the same model. He inspects the machine's framework, careful not to touch anything. A quaint little box of radio waves. Sounded like you had a little bit of a radio uh, thing going on with that one when you said it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, hey, whatever the, whatever the case, it worked. Um, wait, let's just investigate it. Step behind the computer. You see a veresent play and print buttons on the keyboard. A hatch connects to the central uh, compartment is wide open. The lieutenant says nothing. You see the machine glowing, uh, the machine's glowing frame reflected back from his diamond-shaped glasses. You are free to proceed. Let's look inside the compartment. Behind the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filaments, smoldering in, like, uh, in the dark like fireflies. Silver tape on the side says, Black Marker, Log, February and March. Hmm. I'll try to print it. Print it! Nothing happens. Play it! They play and print. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machine's, uh, planar mag... Magnetic drive. An old lady greets you. Her voice is a hundred years old. Oh, okay, this will be fun. Good afternoon, fortress accident on St. Brood. This is East Insuladane, repeater station one. Please repeat, is this the personal log? It's the same old woman you spoke with through the radio computer in the doomed commercial area. Hey, Yvonne, it's me again. How are you? Looked inside the core, but the uh, tape on the filament said log uh, February, March. Fortress accident, this is... Lo Fortress accident? Like the one in the doomed commercial area? Thanks, but I'm finished with this call. Press off, slash silent. I want one. Yvonne, it's me again. How you doing? Good, thank you. It's not clear whether she recognizes your voice. <laughs> Please repeat, is this the personal log? I, uh, looked inside the core. Yeah, that's, uh, it said. Good. Please repeat the password. Let's look around. There's no use trying to guess the answer. 
Fair enough. Maybe. Oh, maybe he knows something. The lieutenant nods towards Tiago. Uh, is it my birthday? This is the police, please. I do not know the password. Uh, Just be honest. I, you you yeah. went through this once before. Received. I will register this login attempt. Fortress accident. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Uh, I would say stop for now. Yeah. And then see if you can get an answer from Taiga because you got mm -hmm. nowhere last time. With yeah, us. we got absolutely nowhere. Oh, my fortress accident, she says as her voice disappears into a world of static. The machine's keyboard is still illuminated, uh, revealing a virescent play in print buttons. All right, let's, uh, let's head out for now. Yeah, we may can... as well ask Tiago. About yeah, we might as well ask Tiago about it. Hey, buddy! What's good? Hey, have you heard uh, the Vicha say the password to her radio computer? Too many times, I say. You need it for something? Uh, surveys are a good way to fish for personal information, especially in the name of public safety. Thanks, drama. Whatever. Okay. I'm doing a, a survey of passwords and passcodes, identifying regional trends in uh, the interest of public safety, of course. Just tell me the password. Step closer. Yeah, it's for a uh, first-degree uh, murder investigation in Martinez. Honestly, I just want to break into the radio computer and see what's on it. One or four. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sweat it, Beto. The password is after life death. Okay. Okay, bye. Yep, thanks. And See ya. Can go to the computer. I think we're done here, SA. The figure crawls off into the darkness of above. Thanks, Tygo. Thank you, Tygo. That was <laughs> an interesting conversation. Do you remember the password? Life after oh. death. After nope. life. Death. After life death. After life death. I already forgot it. <laughs> However, mm -hmm. I'm still not sure how it's relevant to our investigation. Kim, shut up! Not everything needs we to be relevant to the investigation. To in yeah. We're fixing everybody else's problems, Kim. Damn. You know why? Because just like old Kyrie says, we can't handle our own stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We're better at handling everyone else's problems. Exactly. That was one of the most chill people we've met in this whole game. It yep. really was. He's Dude, very nice. And he was super chill with the church becoming a club. Exactly. The speaker comes to life. The stag, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, fortress accident on St. Brood. This is East Insuladane, repeater station one. Please repeat if this is the personal log. Let's try this again. Good. Please repeat the password. After life death. Good. I've unlocked the filament. After ending the call, please press print to access the filament. Perfect. Nice. Fortress accident, is there anything else I can do for you today? Uh, like the one in the Doom commercial area? I have two machines registered to this company name in Martinez. One on the same brew, the other on Rue de St. Gillis Lane. Huh. St. Boo. That's the church. The lieutenant gestures around him. And Rue de St. Gillis Lane. Thanks, uh, Kim. And at home. Anything else I can help you with? Nope, we're good. 
Goodbye, Fortress Accident, she says as her voice disappears into a whirl of static. All right, let's print. The machine's keyboard is illuminated. Print the fucking button! The printer prints out a long text document with a uh, dated paragraph. Looks like someone's personal journal. Read it! The first entry uh, made on the 4th of February, 51, by an unknown author. Short and concise. Arrived at the church. The doorway was boarded up, so I used a crowbar to get inside. Looks like the place has been deserted. Nothing out of the ordinary, but I'll ask around. Need to figure out how to get electricity in. The lieutenant leaned closer. Oh, so now you care. <laughs> <laughs> Scouring the printout over your shoulder. Just as you finish reading, he looks up, muttering under his breath. Fourth of February? That's over a month ago. Whatever set up the whoever set up these machines has been here for quite a while. Do you think this log might be connected to the case? I feel like yes. I feel like we say that for sass. Uh case? No. I don't think so. Uh it must be some local his eyes wander to the various machines around him. Essentoi. <laughs> yes. All right, let's read the second one. 6th of February, 51. Had a little chat with a local fisherman. Said I shouldn't go near the place. That the church was spooky and ridden with narcotics. It's a little spooky, all right. Still haven't figured out uh, the electricity. Read the third entry. 7th of February, 51. Finally got the electricity in. Next on the agenda, new antenna. I'm thinking rescue scared bear or some. Yeah, that's how you pronounce that. Why would she need an antenna? Why would anyone Why would anyone need any of the equipment at all? He steps on a wire running on the ground. You know what would be funny? What? Mm -hmm. With him stepping on the wire, all of a sudden he got electrocuted. Yes. <laughs> you see, Kim, this is why we wear uh, rubber soles. Look at me. I'm stepping on 40 wires and I didn't get electrocuted. Rubber soles, <laughs> baby. Read the fourth entry. 8th of February, 51. Bought the antenna. Had some problems setting it up. Uh, called uh, Simo for help. Heard others... Uh, Back to, uh, heard the others are back to making art, drinking somewhere out of town. Slissaw started a uh, rock band again. Looks see, uh, Lexi has been, uh, asking about, uh, asking money for strangers. Just like us. She's yeah. just like us, guys. Uh, but at least, uh, artists have their act together. They're qualified, uh, labor. They can, they can work any, get work anywhere. Graphic design ads. The programmers are doing fine, too. I mean, they're programmers. The writers, though, they're fucked. I just have to find out what caused the, the that data loss and be done with it. So I don't understand how it managed to wipe out the backup when the backup wasn't even connected to the front. I know, I know. Everyone thinks it's, it's impossible. They say I must be lying, and, and I'm here to set it right. Data loss? Artists? Programmers? Lexi? Who are all these people, Kim? Data loss? They're all, they're all the people that are being replaced by AI. Oh no! That's tragic. Could you imagine? Yeah. This is, is this hitting too close to home right now? Everybody lost their jobs. Yeah. Uh. Seems like something to do with radio computers, unfortunately. I don't know enough about them to understand what the author is saying. Huh. Something about the backup data getting destroyed. And how everyone thought it was the author's fault. He adjusts his glasses. Let's keep it on. Not that I'm invested now or anything. Well, we can't stop even if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. 
Who are these people, Kim? I think these people worked in radio computer games business. So, yeah, I don't have my glasses on. Hey, Carve! Hello. The one, the one we saw in the Doom computer era. Carve, we found Spider-Man. There must be a uh, from a co-worker. Uh, uh, is he French? Yeah. Thank you for... I think he's Spanish. Going. Spanish, oh. Oh, okay. No, it's French. And no, French? Pending is French. <laughs> yeah, pending is, pending is, is Spanish. French. Spider-Man yeah. is Spanish, yes. Ah, yeah. oh, I see. Yes. Yes. I am. Um, I am doing uh, Kim's act on. Yeah. Oh. Don't you don't you recognize it? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Also, hey, uh -huh. Carve. Um. Yeah. You uh, you celebrating something there, bud? Do I have something different? <laughs> you you uh you are uh you have a green top hat on, my friend. Okay, I, I haven't switched it. <laughs> A long ass time, so I just keep it. <laughs> oh, it's been a it's been a hot minute. Uh, you uh, yeah, it's been a hot minute since I looked at that. <laughs> you uh, you got some uh, leprechauns you're finding there, bud? Maybe oh, uh, after some lucky gold, charms. That's all I need. Hmm. There are to me lucky charms. It's just I just have a green hat. That's all. Hmm. That's it. Yeah, just a green hat. Yeah. Hello, John. Nineteen, seventeen, ninety-one. Nice. In that order. Hey, Carve. Yes. I, uh, are you a communist already or nah? I don't remember. Mm. I thought you were asking me that. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I saw that and then got sidetracked by someone in the chat. Uh, sorry. Um, we're, but no, Carve, are you a communist already or nah? Communist already or not? Insomnia. No, 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 no. We forgot fascism to learn insomnia. Yes. I'll just say that my hatred is equal to everything. Okay, understandable. Yeah. Um, also, Car hey. Carve just hates life in general. Yes. C Carve, how many ones do you think I rolled in a row today during D&D? Ones D &D? in a row. D&D. &D. Earlier. Like Pathfinder, but D&D. &D. Pathfinder D. Okay, all right. Mm. On a D20. It has, to, it has to be more than one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Calculating the chance. Do you have, was it more or less than Yui? Okay, here's the way I described it. Situationally, yes. Yui will always roll, like, in general, Yui will always roll more ones. But when it's in a dire situation, Shad will always roll ones. Yes. So they are in a purposeful situation where Shad has to roll. Oh, How he... many times did he roll ones? So he yes. needed to roll so... one. No, he didn't need to roll one. Okay. I he needed to. Roll I needed to roll high to get something so done. So how many okay. rolls All right. did he have where he rolled ones in a row? He rolled exactly twenty-five. Man, I would have won the fucking lottery if I rolled twenty-five ones in a row on a d twenty. But no, I rolled four ones in a row. Four ones in a row. Yes. What are you trying to roll for? To open a teleporter! <laughs> and then when I failed to open the teleporter and a monster came out, I then had to roll initiative for fighting, and that was also a one! And then what was the next one? The teleporter again! And then what was that one after that one? Initiative again! <laughs> it, it, it's... Kind of like how I tried to kick uh, down a door and I failed the roll twice in a row. So I took damage. And you did a somersault, I guess. Of the air for a while. No, I just hurt my foot. <laughs> I failed to kick open the door and instead hurt my foot. So I took damage. It would be. It would have been really funny if, like, until your next long rest, you had a, uh, like, a five-foot limp. You could only you could no no longer move your maximum length, and you were just removed by five yeah, that feet. That would be annoying. That would have been funny as fuck. It's like, yeah, you kicked the door. Don't walk on the foot, idiot. <laughs> oh god. Oh yes, welcome back, Carve. How are you? Doing good. I may not be here for long, but I will just be here to chill and chat and make you laugh. Yes. 
Um, maybe in that order. Carve is here for a good time, not a long time. Yes. I know what you're referencing there, too! <laughs> I don't know the origin of what I'm referencing. But <laughs> I know who said it last. Well, well, I don't know. You're, you're, thinking, you're probably thinking of the same person. I'm thinking right? of a mutual of ours. Yeah, then yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know... I, I know I know the mutual didn't come up with that phrase, but I don't know who did. Yup. It's a song. Also, I, I love how I can just say the mutual. We'll just instant. We know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like, I know it's the okay, mutual. It's okay, chat. I'm sitting here lost. It's fine. Yeah. I know the mutual, too. Nice. I'm glad you guys do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we know mutuals as well, Kyrie. Yeah, we, we have a massive mutuals. friend group of mutuals. mutuals. We have yeah. mutuals, yeah. yeah. We're all yeah. mutuals. You know that person, yeah. I know that person. Exactly. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. I, I am here for a sleepy time. Yeah. Pending, pending, is, pending is tired, yes. Pending, did I, you just wake up before stream? I. Okay, so here, here's how it went. Okay. I was like half asleep, mm -hmm. and then I saw your like ads like, "Hey, gonna be uh, setting things up, so you know, mm -hmm. streaming half an hour." I'm like, "Oh, I should have a sandwich first. <laughs> so I I left bed for the first time today to eat. So I ate my sandwich, then I came here uh, for stream, and I've been like. Falling back asleep as the stream goes on. I'm like, oh. no. You know, I was about to say, man, I feel really bad about getting pending out of bed. Now that you say it's the first time I've gotten out of bed and it is 5 p.m., I'm like, I'm glad I got pending out of bed. You want to go back to bed? I'm probably going back to bed. Up. Listen, I got you to eat a sandwich before you that's did. True. If if I'll take any win today, that's my win. The yeah, today is a sleepy day. It's I guess, very... like, this has been a busy week, so now I'm just... Exhausted? Yeah. yeah. Understandable. John, you eat that sandwich. Sundays are usually, like, a, um... Kind of, like, the, the weight of the week just washing over me. Understandable. Pending, when did you go to sleep last night? Six or seven? A.M.? Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't last night, but this morning. Yeah, I guess that's technically more accurate. Or literally more accurate. Okay. Just just checking. It depends anyway. on if you define last night as the time that takes place before you sleep. No, usually no. night is the night before. Is when you go to bed. Oh. Mm-hmm. I will stretch last night only until, like, 1 or 2 a.m. It's still oh, dark I just out. barely made that cutoff then. I went to bed about one thirty. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. All right, let's read the fifth entry, shall we? 12th of February, 51. Uh, brought some food here from the grocery store. Apparently there's a strike going on in the harbor. Definitely not happy to see the Martinez people again. Everything now is set up in the church. Going to start working tomorrow at 8 a.m. Yeah. 8 a.m. The strike. He strokes his chin. We're near on the death of the Matar. Die, it is important to the case. Keep reading. I'm interested now. I want to know what's this radio anomaly that sent a person here in the first place. Read the sixth entry. 25th of December, 51. I've been sending up uh, data to uh, Lintel for a while now, trying to recreate the data loss, but nothing. Didn't even feel like logging the disappointment, but I did discover a curious audio spatial anomaly in the back of the church. I've named it the Swallow. It, swallow. it swallows. It swallows sound. Need to get some mics. 
Is that is that why there's a fucking bird flying around in there? Because it's also a swallow? Is this a double oh, pun? I get it. I get it. I no, no, the mother's gonna eat you, remember? She'll eat every last drop and not spit you out, remember? That's what Spider-Man said. Yes. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider Does what a spider can. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Look out. It's Spider-Man. Here comes Spider-Man. Is she talking Spider-Man. About... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that was fucking yeah. funny. Is she uh, talking about... The lieutenant looks to his right. What's the silence? It is to his right. Look at that. Yeah. Read the seventh entry. 28th, February 51. Yes, the first recording can confirm that the swallow is real. I'm not just losing my mind. It's a pillar of silence with a diameter of approximately three meters. She uh, seems like the uh, higher I go, the less I, I record. This might be a coincidence, or it could be connected to the data loss that led me here. What? The Pillar of Sion. <clears throat> she is talking about the Sion. Is she suggesting it's more than just an uh, archaeological quirk? I think that was architectural quirk. Architectural. Architectural quirk. But what could it be? Look at the water basins behind you. The lieutenant doesn't answer. He follows your gaze, studying the basins. The water shines in them. No ripples. You just yelled, what could it be? And there's no ripples? Gasp! <gasps> Gasp. It's Godzilla! <laughs> March! It's God. It's Godzilla. Thank you, Kim. Fifty-one. No, that was my Japanese accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I. Does. Huh? You. Oh, okay. No, that that make. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm. What? I, I. You know, no, no. That that makes sense. That that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, sorry, I was. You know? I was just taking it back there for a minute. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. No, it's fine. Uh. March 51. Some kind of young disco men have appeared next to the church. I've been trying to record the silence and find the uh, epicenter, but it turns out I've also captured the, f uh, the future di of dance music. One neo-disco song over and over again. Fortunately, the song uh, is uh, so monoton monotonous. Monotonous. Thank you. That was the word I was looking for. Monotonous. Yeah. I was able to uh, devise an algorithm to factor it out. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. The other day, one of the disco men came in. Before I could say hello, she got scared and left. Good. I don't want anyone distracting me from my work. She must be descri as describing the girl I yelled to and had a fucking panic breakdown at. Yes. Absolutely. The girl on the R? This sounds like a yeah. Also, yes, Carve. Dick Disco has been mentioned. Disco mentioned. Take a shot! March 51. Got a call from uh, some repeater station. Someone has uh, tried to access the radio computer in our old office in Martinez. Can't do anything about it till the store... Uh, about it. The storekeeper still doesn't want to let me inside the thing. Thinks I'm uh, part of some kind of curse. How oh, Martinez of her. <laughs> that is absolutely us. That was me! I was the one who broke into the radio computer! And the storekeeper must be, uh, Plaisance. Yippee. 
I know it wasn't a good idea to meddle in with that machine. Listen, we yeah, got five XP for that. Yeah. Plus, plus, like, we've learned so much. We have! March 51. A new 2-meter Augs uh, cable noodle cracker, ping pong, energy drinks, water, toothpaste, gum, toothpaste, gum, and also some canned air. Your You're... reading is interrupted by the sound of the church door opening. A strange woman makes her uh, way straight for the radio computer. Oh? She doesn't even see you. Not a fucking... <laughs> Who wants to be this person? Uh, Carve should be. You know what? Yeah, Carve, you be this right. woman. Breaking into the radio computer, I see. She glares as she holds down the off button for several seconds. The machine reboots. Thank you. That, that's, a, that's a great German accent. That's <laughs> exactly. I thought it was Greenland. Yeah, that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. They're similar accents. Yeah. yeah. I do uh, apologize for the intrusion, madame. We're with the RCM, you see. We're here on a side case representing a certain, uh, certain music venue organizers. We're not breaking in. I'm just per pursuing a, a murder lead, searching for my, lo uh, searching for my lost identity. Both of those are crap answers. They're crap yeah. answers, but we they're the only ones we've thought of. I guess one. Mm, one. Are you sure we should say we're on a side gig? I I mean, I'd rather say lurking for your lost identity. Sure, why not? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Carve. <clears throat> you won't, you won't, okay. You won't find any answers from here. She barely look up from the keyboard. You hear the machine rolling back to life. You roll your R's up very well. I should. <laughs> so if I don't, I lose my <laughs> heritage. You, you it's, lose. It's just me and my computer. And it has been this way for weeks. Now, please, give me some room. I need two seconds to see that you haven't destroyed anything. Oh, yeah. then I want to roll my R's. Uh, uh, do you want to know my method for rolling my R's? Sure. I, uh, I stick my tongue on the roof of my mouth and then, like, slowly... Uh, like blow air through while trying to lighten the uh, amount of force I have on the tongue until it vibrates on the roof of my palate. <laughs> sounds like you're gargling. Sounds like you're <laughs> choking. <laughs> you're like summoning something. <laughs> yeah, it, but it, yeah, it, it felt it felt good for my throat. I mean, hey, there you go. But yeah, no, like. Uh, <laughs> realistically like if you can get the tongue vibration working and that you can just then make the r sound in a roll we saw Dr. <laughs> lieutenant whispers my favorite russian yeah, accent <laughs> hey what's this big hole in the glass that's a great question. Carve, you take this. Okay, it's probably my last line because I gotta go. Yeah. All right. In a way to silver and a procured fiance. I don't know how to say the word right, but I'll stick to fiance. The young mother of humanism stands above you. 
A crack runs across the body. She is impossibly tall and all will face and sad. A dark and radiant majesty. Beautiful carve. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Incredible. Carver. Thank you. You guys enjoy yeah. the rest of the Thank you for coming by, Carve. Yeah, thank you for coming by. Uh, uh, bye. Bye. Ta ta. Also, Asu, I don't remember trying to teach Pending how to roll his R's. That was. That must have been a while ago in Fatal 12. We've definitely. I, I don't, I've definitely had, like, people tr try to help me with the R rolling. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to do what you do, but I'm just like no, I don't think it's working. You're gonna be trying this in line, but you're gonna be lying down in bed later, and you're gonna be trying to roll your R's again, aren't you? Probably. Understandable. Also, hey Asu, how you doing? Hello, Asu. It might have uh, been the stream I had with Pending and Swear in, uh, on one of our A and P episodes. Mm. Possibly. Well, Pending. Pending, do you want to say this? You can try to roll the R in Dolores. Sure. <laughs> this is her. Wait, this is her innocence. I think the problem is you started on the O instead of the R. <laughs> Funnily enough, you asked. Oh? That was better. Yeah, that was that actually was better. better. Try that again. The Lorestel. No, okay. You're putting too much of your throat into it. The Lorestel. The Lores. The Lores. I, I need to put the throat in there. I don't know how to do without the throat. Yeah, it's uh, what you're. You want to? It's it's more of a tongue thing. You're you're vibrating so, the air coming through your through you. The the way I could say is Shad is kind of right on putting the tongue at the top of your mouth, but you can't keep it like glued to it. Yeah, it has to be able to vibrate with it. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> so it'd be this is her innocence, Dolores Day. Dolores Day. Dolores Day. Yeah, it's it's definitely rolling your R's is one of those weird things. I feel like I mean, I also took three years of Spanish, so it got grinded into me. Yeah. Dolores. Dolores. Mm. Uh, you'll get it. You'll, you'll get honestly. You, you'll get it eventually. It. it I feel like you are almost there. You just need to learn how, like the. I think it's more how to vibrate your tongue now because yeah. you you nailed it a couple times ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's more the consistency now. Because okay. like the air need the uh, like how I'm thinking about it is the air needs to pass over your tongue and uh, in between your palate, and then the tongue needs to uh, slap back up top to the palate to stop the air, only for the Dolores. pattern to repeat. Dolores, Dolores. Trying something like, you don't even need so to like, say the R sound or anything. I'm trying to explain how my mouth moves to make that R sound. So like, if you're in a mirror and you're looking at your face, right? And you go to like, check your gums for the, your top row of teeth. You know how you kind of pull your cheeks back real tight? Mm -hmm. So you'll do that. Your tongue will kind of be towards the top of the mouth. And when the R sound comes out, when you're pushing that out, it needs to be a steady flow. And your tongue just kind of goes up and down. Almost like a purr. Mm -hmm. So, this. So, like, for, for one, uh, let, let me try to get a bass. Stick your tongue on the top of your uh, mouth and then just breathe out through your mouth. Like, uh, like, uh, th you know, this is really hard to do over a fucking call when I can't see either of you. Yeah. So the way I learned it is um, to say the uh, Spanish doesn't always roll their R's. So there's an R and then there's a double R and you roll the double R. 
Okay. So when you're learning the alphabet, there's ere and arre. Uh, uh, so it's E R R E basically is what you're saying. So arre. Arre. Uh, arre. Um, yeah. So. Oh, you had it for a second there. Arre. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. You have it a little bit. <gasps> there it was. Do, do you feel how that feels, pending? You can keep it going if you have more breath. So, it sounds like you're using your throat a bit too much there. But you, but it sounded like you actually had it there for a minute. There, do you know? Did you feel how that felt with your tongue hitting your palate? Kind of. Yeah, you want to. If you can get that consistently, that is the thing you need to use to roll your R's because an R sound is not actually a sound. It's just the impeding uh, motion of breath. Right. Sort of like if you're hitting your fucking throat when you're talking, like, uh, like that. Well, it's not the impeding motion. It's you're using your mouth to create a vibration to mm -hmm. be able to come up with it. Yeah. It's, mu it's much less a voice thing, as much as it sounds like it is. Right. Yeah. But you were really close yeah, there. Yeah, like, like legitimately you. really close. That was really good. So, if you want to practice, there's ere and erre. Ere and erre. You're getting there. You, you had it. There. You had it there. Thank you. Yeah, so... Keeping that up uh, is very good. You don't even need to make a sound with it to practice it. It's just a breathing technique. Mm. Quote, unquote, also, breathing listen technique. Also, listening to cats helps because their purr is the same kind of thing. They're right. exhaling and they're using their mouth to make a vibration noise. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get real good, go snuggle a cat or two. Yeah. We have learned a lot today. Uh huh. It's very informational. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Pending says as he is also yawning. Mm. But he learned so much. Exactly, yeah. Cradled in her arms is a pair of glowing lungs, clearly visible from underneath uh, her flowering dress. You should kneel. Are you going to be wanting to worship this creature, this mother? I don't know. I don't know. I would say no, then. If you feel three. like you should do what? it. I just read what three was. Leave me alone, woman. You wouldn't say that. You're no. Nervous. Yeah. No, nah, I don't think we will, Neil. Cold wind seeps through the cracks in the glass. Snow drifts cover the floorboard at your feet. Above, you can feel her multicolored eyes on you, inspecting you. As if under a microscope. Look up, no, or no, I am not your bug. Uh, let's look up, I think. What do we see? The woman stare, looks down at you, at, at you standing there. She towers among her followers, architects, layman, cord. There's a sad smile on her lips, and a giant uh, green, uh, in, and a glint of her green blue eye. Of what? Compassion? Remorse? Thank she you. acknowledges the passing of someone who is still alive. You. It's compassion. It's remorse. It's mourning. It's not possible to live. Uh. I guess it's morning. Yeah, it's about. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, as that terrible word passes through your mind, the lieutenant draws an X-shaped cross from shoulder to shoulder. 
Do the same. Your fingertips touch your chest uh, four times as you stand in the apricot-colored light of the window. Above you, the woman still smiles, uh, her distant so smile, surrounded by the crack in the glass. This is uh, Dolores Day. The old woman in the village was right. He looks around. This must be uh, the Dolores Court of your mouth, hey? Um, what an ass. Uh, or the small pine wood church in some recall. You, you wanted to say something, Kyrie? No, it was fine. Oh, okay. I, I was literally going to say it was what the old woman was talking about, and yeah. then it said that. Yeah. I got ahead of myself. You you knew the place? It's a uh, modern landmark, not easy to find. More maps, uh, Miss Blesha. He lo he lowers his voice. It was built not it was built not long after Weber's Hall town down. Three hundred or so years ago by the first generation of Shalala. That is an impressive glass window for the first generation of settlers. Yeah. On the coast of an uninhabited archipelago, where only animals had roamed before, in the wild reeds. What else do we know? Okie dokie! What else do we know? Do you know? These used to be seven... There, there used to be seven more churches on the coal. Les Sep Chavage, uh, they call them. The seven sisters. Only one man. The rest were burned in the revolution or used for build armatory walls. That's sad. We shall be respectful here. Although the building appears to be a uh, desert art, I do not believe we'll find any town connected to the lynching here. Something else, perhaps. He looks at the machinery lying around. And the woman typing behind him. Yes. Respectful. Is this the lieutenant? A follower of DeLoreanism? He really likes Back to the Future. Yes. There it is again. A small pang of guilt. It's time to ask him what happened here. Do you know why it was abandoned? Better not to intrude upon him. No, I want to know. Do you know? Pending wants to know. Pending wants to know. I have a theory, yes. There's a pause, then he continues. There was a police raid a while back. I heard the place was shot to a That's pretty good for being shot to pieces. The old woman in the village was being uh, talk, talk, talkful with, with us when she didn't mention it all. She has more respect for the Arshion than many around her. Who conducted this raid? Well, your station was involved with you, although I can't be sure. It's your fault. How come the lieutenant isn't sure? Is this confidential information? You're not sure? Three of precincts were involved in the raid, and people say precinct 41 was one of them. I don't remember being here. Look around. I... I guess I could have been here. You don't remember being here. Yeah, we... We, and you've got no inkling, like, before? Like, oh, I remember yeah. parts of this. I don't yeah. remember being here. I am pretty sure it was a uh, clandestine operation. I don't know anything more about that. Why it was uh, conducted or who participated. I tried not to pry into extra distract masters. If I was here, I should find out what I was doing. Better forget about it. 
You're uh -huh. a superstar cop. You want to know. That's true. We are some kind of superstar. But that's if we were here. Yes. If we were here. Mm hmm. Good luck. You will not get information on a confidential operation from your station secretary just by calling. If you really don't remember, it might be better to keep this one. We'll go talk Shh. to our partner. Shut up, Kim. Good. Why are you so negative, Nancy, all the time? It happened a while ago. It is unimportant to our business in Martinez now. Kim, look at the people. They want to know what's happening. Look and at to the get people. Answers, you need to know what sh your precinct did to fuck up relationships in this town. Exactly. If we're going to become better people, we need to go beyond just getting the guy at the bar a date with his employees. We need to learn why we ransacked a church. We need to go one step further beyond. Ah! Beyond the beyond. Yeah. Kim, are you a fan of Back to the Future? <laughs> yes. We all love Back to the Future. Uh, the doctor's name, but <laughs> and rule are synonymous with Humanism. The laws we enforce are DeLorean in or down. Like how we cannot go beyond a certain speed or we will go back in time. 88 miles an hour. I thought it was like 78. I'm pretty sure it's 88. I have not seen the movie in a while. So that is a su that is surprising. I thought you would have seen Back to the Future. Oh, I've definitely seen it, but it's been a while. Oh, okay. It would have been really funny if you said I've watched Back to the Future 3. I have seen Back to the Future 3. Not not only Back to the Future 3. No, it would have been really funny if you just were like, yeah, no, I've seen Back to the Future 3. And then I none of the others. Back to the Future Three. I, I, I just watched that nope, one. Nope, it is eighty-eight. Yep. It is eighty-eight. You watch Back to the Future every year, Asu. It's, it's one of Asu's movie. favorite movies. Hmm. I learned that when we were doing a uh, power wash, when we were doing the Back to the Future stuff. Oh. Hmm. Almost, but yes. Neat. I didn't think you were so spiritual, Kim. I don't like her. She looks like a leaf. <laughs> Harry! The fuck happened? Jesus. It's a woman, Shad. Fair. You know what? Fair enough. I, I kind of like two. Uh, you know? Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. It's not spiritual. It's just a really good movie, you know? <laughs> have you seen it? So we've got to... You know what? You mean we can have a movie night after this. You know it's... what? Thanks, Kim. You and yeah. me will have a movie night. That yeah. sounds great. Back to the future. Yeah. What year did they... I look forward to it. In Back to the Future 2, what year did they go to? Was that 2014? Uh, something like that. Yeah, something like that. The they went to the era of hover boat, ho hover, hover, uh, roller, whatever they're called. Roller, what's, disco, what's derby, disco inferno. Yes. 2015. Uh, Thank you, Aso. Yeah. Aso, it's Aso. I did I say Aso? How dare! How dare! How what's dare! That, what's that thing called when you're like on like this wooden stick on wheels and you're just uh, kind of like sliding forward? What's that called? Uh, skateboard. Uh, skateboard? Like. Skateboard. 
they had they had hover skateboards in Back to the Future, I think. So when when did we get hover skateboards? That was like ten years ago, right? That's when that was invented. Sure. Yeah. Let's go with that. You guys you guys have your own hover skateboards, right? No. I'm oh. too old for that. No, that's fair. They broke my legs my and face. stole mine. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, I hate hate that for you. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fine. I, I hired Spider Man to beat them up. It was great. Spider Man. Spider Man. It was it the Mexican Spider Man? No, it was the okay. Abyssal Spider Man, who came Damn. from the ceiling. But the Abyssal—that's not Abyssal. That was Mexican Spider Man. He was so cool. He was very cool. That was the was chillest Seattle. guy we have met this whole damn game. He was super chill. And he we was... actually did get a lot of progress. We got a lot. Funnily enough, we did a lot of shit today in this church. You should hire... Um... Kafka. Okay, Star the... Rail. Yes. Okay. I was like... Uh, Shad wouldn't have known that. So that's why I, I like... Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Because I was, I was like, aren't they like some weird philosopher? Kafka? Yeah, Franz Kafka, novelist. Ka Kafka has a spider theming too. Does she, has... oh, she now? I never knew that. Yeah. She has like her little kind of web stuff. Are you a web slinger, Shad? No. Damn. Unfortunately. You know what I am really good at, though? Plugging your channel? Plugging your channel? What are you no! doing, Kyrie? Uh, well, tonight, we're going to make up for the fact that DK forgot oh, about oh. me yesterday. Did you hear about that? Pending. I didn't hear DK about forgot that. about me. Are you Every Saturday. DK Donkey Kong wasn't here? Yeah. DK, DK Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong here. wasn't here. So, I've been excited. My favorite game of all time is Banjo-Kazooie, right? Mm -hmm. Old mm -hmm. 64 game that I love. Mm -hmm. Um, Love it to the point I have, like, the 26-year-old game guide still. Oh, cool, cool. Which is, like... My pride and joy. It's one of, like, two or three game guides I kept from the N64. So, mm. I'm sitting here guiding DK around the th Banjo-Kazooie to actually get 100% in the game. Mm hmm But, an hour before, I messaged DK, like, alright, when are we getting ready kind of thing. Uh, I'm really excited. DK's like, I forgot. I'm like, how could you forget me? We do this every Saturday. We've done it every Saturday for like three <laughs> weeks now. And then on top of it, wait, wait, we, we decided to do it on some Wednesdays. How could you forget about me? So, yeah. I was very upset. I'm, I'm very sad. Mm -hmm. But DK is making it up today. So, we're going to do Donkey Kong on DK's channel. And then... Wait, Donkey Kong? Not... Banjo Kazooie. There you BK, go. Not DK. <laughs> BK. B. Uh, we're gonna do Banjo Kazooie on DK's channel. There you go. And then tomorrow morning for me, it'll be tomorrow night for those on the the Western Seaboard. Um, we will be doing a try not to laugh challenge with Yuikai. I'll get some alcohol and we'll be drinking and relaxing and chilling so if you want to submit movies you can join my discord or yui's we both have a channel where you can submit stuff sounds fun yep sounds and then my usual times are just at nights yeah also i love my new mic it's great your, your mic is great yeah thank it you, is fantastic thank you thank you Pending. What about you? I'm going to take a nap, probably. Um, streams next week. Uh, maybe Rinka? 
Ooh. Maybe uh, Tales of Vesperia. Ooh. Maybe other things. How are you liking that, by the way? Rinka? Vesperia. Vesperia is a lot of fun. I've only ever played, like, Tales of Symphonia and then the second, like, the actual um, Tales of Symphonia 2. To Tales of Symphonia 2, mm -hmm. which is, like, the dawn of Ratatosk. Mm -hmm. So those those have always been nice to me, but I haven't played any others. And I have a bunch on my account. I just never played them. It, I, it, it is a lot of fun. Um, I can't compare. Like, this is my... Well, it's not technically my first Tales game. I've started other Tales games, but I've never finished other Tales games. Mm. So my goal is to finish this one. Okay. Yeah. That's um, a good goal. Yeah, after this one, I might play Tales of Vesperia. Okay. Wait, wait aren't you, you're playing Vesperia. Uh, wait, what's the, what's the one Berseria? that Berseria? Berseria? Yeah, the one that starts with a B. Yeah, Berseria. Yeah, Berseria that's, yeah. Uh, that, yeah, the one with the woman on the cover. Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I, um, I have played a lot of Tales games. I that's how me and Shad got to be friends. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love Vesperia. That is my favorite game in the series. Yeah, the one the one I'm playing right now. Yeah. Awesome. Do, does it have a main man that I can go around and seduce all the women to give me free stuff with? No. Then yeah, it's it, lacking. It does have a main man. I have not seen an option to seduce anyone. In Tales of Symphonia. When you get a character named Zelos, you can put him as your main party to be the character that runs around. And every female he greets, they will fawn over him, be like, oh my god, it's Zelos, it's the chosen one. And then they'll give him stuff. L that yeah, it, it's very silly. Every character in that game has I a thing called it. a personal. And if you equip their personal, they all do different things. Zelos is, hey, every woman is essentially a chest. They have a chest and are a chest. Yep. And, um, yeah, that's that's that game. But I positively love uh, Vesperia. How far are you in that game pending? So we went into a desert and we uh, passed out. Gotcha. You're right there. I know exactly where you are. Yes. That's, yeah, no. That's uh, we I was just going to say um, uh, Rita is my favorite character. Yes, I yeah. like Rita a lot, too. Mm -hmm. She is a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's about it. I guess uh, we'll call that a stream. That was very yeah. fun. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You for, thank you for stream. And thank you all thank for coming you. by. This was super fun. I had a great time. And uh, I will be back tomorrow with a new series. Two new series this week. I am going to be playing both Katana Zero on Mondays and Elden Ring on uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Nice. Um. I... Yeah. <laughs> and, and what do you do on Fridays? Uh, Baldur's Gate still. I'm still playing Baldur's there Gate. There you go. There you go, guys. You have a, a, a oh. chat schedule for the week. Woo! I'm done with Pathologic for now. Huh. No, I John! A, a We're now. not playing Pathologic 2! For now. For now. I'll be there. Yeah. I'll, I'll go to Pathologic 2 eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Eventually. Who shall we raid, y'all? Who's on, y'all? Let me see. I do not have a lot of people on. And most of the people who are on on my side are very, very fucking massive. Fucking big. Fucking chunky. Wide mm. berf. Mm. <laughs> no one on? Mm. Well, I mean, we could do the funny. What's the funny? Raid Kyrie while she's offline. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I'll go online and play games. 
Fuck it. You, you know what? You guys want me to go online to play Fuck something? Fuck it. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go raid Kyrie on Twitch. It'll be funny. <laughs> raid the massive people? The massive people don't know who I is. Everyone knows Shatik Neon. God, no one knows me. Alright, so we are going to send the Twitch people over to Kyrie. It'll be a great I time. I'm entertained until DK. Yeah, it'll be a great time. As for the YouTube people, I still can't send you guys anywhere. So you're stuck with me. No matter what. But yes, thank you all so much for coming by. This was a great stream. An absolutely fucking hilarious gut buster of a stream. Thank you once again to everyone who stops by. Be sure to check the links in the description for all of my co-hosts. They are fantastic people. Go give them on a follow and a like and a comment and a blah, 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 blah. It'll be a great time. And so, yeah, with that being said, um, any closing thoughts, y'all? I'm very sleepy. You should go get some rest, I'm Pending. I'm get some sleep. Yeah. Good night, Pending. Good night. And good night to all of you people. And have fun over on Kyrie's channel. I am sending the sure. right. I'm sending the right off now. And take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.